Jason, what stood out to you most about you know the performance tonight in terms of kind of the the all in uh, intangibles of the game and what everybody up and down the the roster was able to do that uh, played? Um, obviously, I think it started in that first quarter. Uh, first play on defense, right? Smart diving on the floor, getting out in transition. Uh, you know that was contagious. You know, smart played his ass off tonight. Uh, you know, everybody did, but you know, D White. Grant, um, Rob, Al, um, you know, I think just how hard we played, um, how connected we were on the defensive end, uh, you know, sharing the ball, uh, things like that. Jason, uh, you just mentioned D. White. He was like a huge part of the aggression, the speed you were playing defense with tonight. You guys have kind of taken over the series ever since you started doing that last uh, last game. So how crucial is D. White to being able to like dig and recover and just all the things you have to do to stay active against them? Yeah, I mean, D. White's second team on defense this year for a reason. He's a big part of our team, our identity, um, you know, things we try and do on the defensive end. Um, you know, he's a very smart basketball player on both ends. Um, and, you know, his awareness, his instincts, um, you know, they show tonight. Jason, um, you seem to get really hot there early in the first quarter when um, that led to the technical after it seemed like you got pushed on the dunk there. What did you see in that spot and what did you see from the response from you guys after that uh, sequence? Uh, I thought he grabbed me, but, you know, they didn't think so. Uh, you know, I was upset, got a tech, whatever. Um, but we responded, um, we just kept playing. You know, I think, you know, the crowd kind of fed off that a little bit, and, uh, you know, we just kept making plays. Jason, uh, talking about the atmosphere over here and also imagining a possible Game 7 on Monday, uh, was that the loudest one in this postseason? And how does it affect uh, your performance, the performance of the team, and also the opposite team? <laughs> um, I'm just glad we – we gave them something to cheer about today. Um, you know, we got the best fans in the league. And, you know, up until today, this series, we haven't gave them much to cheer for at home. So I was glad that, you know, uh, our performance matched the energy that they were giving us. And obviously, it raised our level. Um, and, you know, they're a big part of what we do, especially at home. You know, we uh, we feed off that. Um, a lot. Jason, it seems like th this series is swinging on the other guys, the role players. Tonight you got 10 three-pointers combined from Smart and, and Derek White. W what goes into those guys being able to get those shots, make those shots, versus Miami getting those big nights from like Caleb Martin? And I know Gabe Vincent was out tonight, but he's had big nights. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. You know, it's a long series, and you're going to need big games from different guys at different points of a series. And, you know, that's why um, it's a team team sport. You know, you need everybody at some point to come up big. And, you know, you know Smart and D.Y. is, you know, the reason we won tonight. You know, those two guys, um, their ability to, to hit shots tonight, um, you know, spread out the defense. Um, and then you make, making plays on the defensive end. Um, you know, I think we, we fed off that, that energy tonight. Jason, why do you think this team is so comfortable in chaos? Like, it's a, it's a cliche to say, you know, when your back's against a wall, you respond. But it seems like this team really gets compelled to do so when all hope seems to be gone. That's a great question. Uh, I, wish, I wish I didn't know the answer. Um, for some odd reason, even last year, we, uh, we always seem to make it a little bit tougher on ourselves. Um, but what I do know is that, you know, you can see the true character of a, of a person, uh, of a team, um, when things aren't going well. And our ability to um, come together, um, figure things out, you know, um, when it's not necessarily looking good for us, uh, it's unlike any team I've been on this year and last year, you know, just the core group of guys of, um, you know, being able to respond. Um, and I think that's just a, a test to our togetherness, um, you know, obviously how bad we want it 
and you know, we got we got room full of um, determined, tough guys that you know push come to shove. You know, you look to the left and the right, and you believe that you know the guy next to you is gonna do whatever it takes um, and go down fighting if it, if it don't work out. Jason, what's happened to this team in the last 72 hours? Obviously, game three was a low point. Everybody was down. But how did you flip the switch over the last team-wise in the locker room with Joe? Why do you guys look like such a different team? Um, yeah, I mean, game three, that's, that was as, as low as you can be, right? And the good part about being that low is you only can play better. It's, it's only up from there. Um, and, you know, I think uh, part of it was just, you know, you, being down 3-0, um, you understand how that's never been done. It's, you know, all the talk about that. Um, it kind of gave us a sense of just like, you know, everybody's counting us out. You know, the way we're supposed to win, we're supposed to be done. Um, and I think we started to play a little bit more free, relaxed. Um, Obviously, you know, our defense intensity, um, you know, being connected on the defensive end that showed these last two games. Um, and then, you know, offensively, I think uh, guys are just relaxed, um, you know, and just and, and really just taking it one, one game at a time, knowing that we have this uphill battle to over, overcome. Uh, but I really feel like guys have, you know, just kind of taken a deep breath we were in that locker room after game three was the lowest you could be. Uh, and, you know, I think everybody just kind of relaxed, honestly. You mentioned, you talked before about the roller coaster ride you guys have been on the last couple of years. I think you said to Roz after the game that the pressure's on Miami now going back to Miami for game six after you guys gotten a couple wins in a row. I think you guys have won four straight road elimination games over the past couple of years when you've been in situations like that. What has allowed you guys to go into road environments like that and consistently be able to put together performances like you have to stay alive in series? Uh, like I said, I wish I didn't know. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I feel like f speaking for us in the last, uh, this year and last year, when we've had a lead or tied a series up and came back home for whatever reason, we've, uh, I don't know, relaxed um, for lack of better words. And, you know, we've lost some crucial games at home and really just had to buckle down um, of going on the road, backs against the wall, you know, nobody but us and the coaches and the guys in that locker room believe that, you know, you know, whether it's last year, last series that, you know, we were going to win. Uh, but, you know, like I said, we got a really connected group. We got a group of determined, tough guys um, that, like I said, I know I can count on. I know when I look to my left and my right, uh, when all hope seems to be lost, you know, when the game is on the line, our back's against the wall, that, you know, everybody going to go down fighting, give everything they have. Um, and that's contagious because uh, we truly – whether it's ignorant belief, we do, we do believe um, at all times that, you know, if we still have a chance that, you know, anything can happen. Last question to ask. Jason, along those lines, I know you said that you're off social media through the playoffs, but, I mean, things got pretty dark, various reports about what's going on in the locker room after game three. Did you guys take offense to that and hear that kind of talk? I mean, like I said, I'm off Twitter, so... I don't know what they said, what you guys said. Uh, so uh, I, don't, I don't know um, to answer that. I'm just trying to keep a clear mind, um, good or bad, you know, just trying to focus on the task and the next game. Uh, and it's kind of just as simple as that.